Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to the channel. About three weeks ago, we hit the 1500 subscriber mark, so that is awesome. I appreciate you guys. All you new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Normally, my channel is about machining and welding and metal fab, but uh, currently I'm trying to build a shop. So once the shop is done, we will be back to our regular format. But uh, I do have a smorgasbord of stuff for you, so I figured I'd throw together a mail call. And as old uh, my buddy Jim at Saw Logs Racing Components would say, big old bucket of Pixelop. <laughs> so I've got uh, a few cool purchases to show you. I've got uh, a little video of the countryside. And uh, let's see what else I got. Uh, yeah, I did get a little bit of work on the shop. And... So, without further ado, let's uh, turn the camera around and uh, get this party started. Well, today's project is uh, we're going to work on this back drain. As you can see, it's finally dried out. Today is Friday. We had about a uh, third of an inch of rain on Monday. Tuesday night had a real bad storm. I mean, it was raining sideways. We got over an inch of rain Tuesday night into Wednesday. And it has been sunny and dry ever since, so it's drying out fairly nice. It's about 70 degrees, light breeze, so it's helped. But the inside is still a little bit soggy. Because like I said, it was just raining sideways and all the, all the rain was coming in. So it's drying out pretty good. <clears throat> the weekend's going to be nice. <laughs> but uh, they're calling for rain Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's not good. So I don't know if we'll get any work done this week or not. But anyways, this is what I got going on today. So I got this drain done. And unfortunately, I didn't think about it, but a few days later I had an epiphany. I was like, wait a second. You know, vehicles are going to be driving over this, my forklift. And I wasn't sure if it's deep enough. Because if it's not, then it's going to get crushed. So what I've got is I picked up some 6-inch thick wall PVC and what we'll do is we'll sleeve this section of corrugated pipe right here where you know traffic's gonna go you know if I thought about it ahead of time you know I would have done PVC to begin with and wouldn't have laid in this piece of corrugated pipe but you know sometimes you just don't think and you just get going on projects and go oh man I should have done that to begin with so let me uh, get this out trim the bottom out a little bit so this will sit good and uh, get her laid in there well there she is all laid in I had to straighten out the path because when I had to corrugate it it was a little bit squirrely going down there she still got a tad bit of a bend but this should work I'm tired of digging <laughs> this is letting me know I'm 55 years old but that's sitting and crush and we'll get down here Give you an idea of the drop in elevation, so that should run good. So when we had the bobcat, when we clean out that for the concrete, then what we'll do is we'll just take all that extra dirt and I'll just use that to fill this in and you know get the ruts cleaned up. So one project down. I figured I'd give you a, a view of the beautiful countryside from my backyard. Today is the uh, second day of spring. Yesterday was the first day, March uh, 18th, I believe. So this will be changing soon. All the trees will have leaves on them, so you won't be able to see as well. Figured I'd grab a couple shots for you guys. Over there, you kind of got the big mountain ridge. Don't know if it has a name or not. Rains are getting ready to roll in, as you can see. It's starting to get a little bit cloudy up there. That's my wife. It rains like every three days here. That's why the shop is in such a <laughs> disrepair. Looks like I got a couple four-leggers waiting on me. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, that's Chaos. And this is a new addition to the family. That's Sasha. She's a Shepherd Husky mix. We rescued her also. I think uh, we need to play ball, don't we, Chaos? Yep, he's got his ball. 
Hang on, let me lock the gate. You get an escape artist here. All right, you ready, buddy? Here we go. Hey, Sasha, say hey to YouTube. <laughs> huh, you like it here? You glad you got rescued by us? You have a good time here? Yeah, you happy dog. Okay, let's get the ball. Hey, ready, Chaos, here you go. So I got a quick and easy little welding job. I picked this thing up here. What this is, is uh, basically like a, a jack. If you uh, played jacks in uh, elementary school, you know what I'm talking about. And um, let's see, you put it together and then you weld it up and it is a flipping shooting target. So let me set the camera down and show you what's going on. I already cleaned them off with uh, xylol, and there you go. Hopefully you're in the frame. Hopefully the light's pretty good. I'm doing this like just at the edge of the barn door here. So, so what we'll do is we'll buzz this together, and what you do is you lay this on the ground and you shoot it. And when the bullet hits it, obviously, ding, it flips, and then you can keep shooting at it, and it'll just kind of dance around on the uh, ground there so that's what we got let me get the welder fired up and get the leads and we'll burn some 70 er6 hopefully this will be a good spot not sure how well you'll be able to see but we'll give it a shot I'll try to weld out of the way here A little bit better. Do have a little bit of wind, so trying to keep that shielding gas where it needs to be. Not blow away from the weld. Well, there you go. Not too bad of a bead. That should hold. I'm going to throw some paint on this thing and we'll throw it out in the yard. So, if you can see, I got the gutter guys back. They're the ones who put the gutters on my building. I'm having to put it on this outbuilding here. Just the front where the rain comes off and you know the roof line is so short it just splashes right back inside the open area and then of course against the garage door and what's nice is these guys are riding down the road so you know nice to hire local and nice to keep the money in the community So we'll put a downspout there, and we'll stick one over there. That's the setup. So it comes in as flat stock on a roll, and it comes through the machine, and the die forms it up. Pretty cool. Actually, I guess I'll get a closer look for you guys. So he had to order the almond color for me. 
so it fits the build and it looks perfect. Give you another shot of the countryside here. I am at the top of my road. Really nice view up here. You can see a long ways. See all those mountain tops and ridges. Got some stakes here in this farmer's field, so it looks like they're getting ready to do something here. He may be putting up another pole barn. The way the clouds are shadowing the, the hills over there is pretty cool. Spin you around, so this farmer owns this field over here. He's been trying to build a pole barn like I've been trying to build my shop, and he hadn't had much success either because all it does is rain. We got an inch of rain last night. As you can see, it's pretty pretty wet and soggy one of these days it's going to get dried out I'll be able to have a shop but some nice long range views for you guys I figured you enjoy this you guys see the uh, deer right there there's the pet deer over here at McDonald's old farm and just hanging out in the front that's cool hey buddy <laughs> So the UPS guy just stopped by with my package. Yep, decided to buy me uh, another Everlast. This is an ACDC TIG welder, 250 amper. So happy birthday to me. Let's get this thing inside and unboxed. So this is a machine I'm upgrading. This is uh, the Power TIG 185, it's a nice entry level machine, 185 amps, it's AC DC machine. So, does everything you can ask for of it, except, uh, you know, I wish it had a few more bells and whistles and a little more power, so that's why I'm upgrading. So the water cooler just arrived. So let's go ahead and get these two unboxed, see what we got. All right, there she is. I didn't bother doing the physical unboxing, but let me open this because it's probably got some glare. So you're looking at the Everlast Power TIG 250 EX. So 250 amps of uh, welding power. But uh, like I mentioned, it's got a lot of bells and whistles that my uh, 185 did not have. So it's got a spot welder. You got your uh, stick mode. And that's your, that's the arc force or the dig feature. And down here you got your, your regular uh, AC balance and AC frequency settings. <clears throat> down here, uh, pre-flow and post-flow gases. Your upslope and downslope. And then you got your start amps and end amps. So you can really dial it in, which is nice. And then here you've got your pulse setting. And so you can set your pulse frequency, pulse amps, and the pulse time on. So, pretty cool. Can't wait to try her out. The only thing I hate when they do is they don't give you a freaking plug. But here's a look at the accessories. So that looks pretty good. I was expecting an air-cooled torch, but it actually came with a water-cooled torch. So that is pretty freaking awesome. But uh, I did go ahead and order a water cool torch from uh, HTP. And get over here in the light, hopefully it's a little bit better. Bunch of accessories, so yeah, this is a HTP. This is the flex head number 18. So now I've got two water cool torches. But it comes with your basic consumables here or should I actually say not really consumables because there is no uh, tungsten in it cups and uh, collets this is a gas flow meter pedal they do give you a stinger which is nice and then of course your ground clamp so that's the accessories let's get over there and get the uh, water cooler open well there's the uh, water cooler as you can see, it's a tad bit different shade of green than the welder. And that's because if I would have bought this 
and it said Everlast on it and it'd be over $400. But buying it as a generic one just off eBay, it's like $229. So it just made sense to do that. But she should work out fine. They give you some basic accessories to make your own hoses and probably some uh, basic instructions in uh, Chinglish. But sweet. Now I've got a nice uh, TIG welder set up. I can't wait to, uh, you know, burn some beads, especially some aluminum, since I'll be able to really dial some stuff in and I can work on my aluminum skills. So. We'll start off with the purchases. I'm trying to film this outside in the sunlight, so hopefully you guys can see it pretty well and the glare is not too bad. But with this coronavirus going on, you know, and we're all supposed to stay put, just means more time surfing on eBay. <laughs> so on my long list of things I need to do and need to make, once the shop is up and running, I do need to make a set of soft jaws. And believe it or not, I found these for $8. So, I mean, by the time you scrounge up a nice piece of Delrin, you know, you got you some rare earth magnets and bought you a little tube of super glue. You'd be probably over eight dollar range. So, figure this is a good buy. This will fit perfect for the vice. You know, so one thing I don't have to do: check that off the to-do list. Well, I picked up a extra light to use for filming. I wanted something small that I could put together, like in a total unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a magnetic base with a flexible arm and I'll have a light attached for low light situations and then of course the camera and the microphone up top. Well I saw this light here I was like sweet that'll work perfect. It's magnetic, it swivels and this was $28 made by Cyclops. <laughs> this is my nice snap-on one that I got on sale for $75 a couple years ago. Uh, anybody see a resemblance so yeah so it's obviously that this company makes them for snap-on and then snap-on puts their name on it and triples the price so thought that was uh, kind of interesting so snap-on a little sneaky on that one while scouring eBay found this awesome G&E book on shapers and hopefully you guys can read that it says uh, represented by the Motch and Merriweather Machine Company and they had uh, four distribution places looks like Cleveland Cincinnati Detroit and Pittsburgh so what this is it's kind of a sales brochure of all the genie shapers back in the day look at that 1911 Things over 100 years old. Is that cool or what? Of course, I've got a 16 inch GE shaper, which I love, so that's why when I saw this, I had to have it. I only had to uh, bid against one guy. Thank goodness he didn't run the bid up very high. But uh, hopefully, you can see the pictures. Just a neat piece of history. So, and they called it high duty back then, and if you remember, I scored this cool door stoppers g and &E, and they called it high duty back then. Of course, at some point in time they changed it to heavy duty because mine's a 1941 and it says heavy duty on the side of the plate. So in between, uh, I guess what world, almost World War One and World War Two, they probably changed it, but very cool book you know it survived his times thought it was pretty neat i know i'm kind of going through this fast let me find a couple cool there i gotta show you some pictures back there look at that look at all them shapers lined up on line shafts everybody's working hard and there's another one that is um looks like those are electric because i don't see uh belts going down to those particular shapers and of course it talks about need different attachments and how you can use them so very cool book I'm glad I was able to score it 
So it's a nice spring day. I figured uh, go ahead and get the barbecue fired up. So I got a, a roast in the big green egg. Got her started on the pan first. Let her cook for about an hour like that. And then um, I'll take the pan off and get a nice you know, crust on the outside. Using some grill mates. This is applewood rub. And also using grill mates brown sugar bourbon rub. So, or actually they call this a seasoning. This a rub. So it should be pretty good. Of course we're playing ball with Mr. Chaos. So I'll bring you guys back when this puppy is about ready. Show you how good she's going to look and how yummy she's going to taste. Yep, she looks good. Getting ready to pull her off. She's uh, almost at 160. So can't wait to chow into that. Bon appetit. So like I say, thanks for watching. You know, thanks for subscribing. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button, please hit it for me. Uh, hopefully we'll be uh, in the new shop when we hit the 2,000 subscriber mark and I can do something special for you guys. That'll be exciting. Can't wait. So until next time, take care. We'll see you.